Hi guys, I thought I would do a video um, of how to work with the newsprint transfers. I know they're trickier, um, but you know, once you get the hang of it, they have a little bit more versatility uh, because you can add spot colors and uh, get that peeling wallpaper look if you uh, paint a slip on the newsprint over the transfer before transferring. Um, actually, that's what this one is. This one, um, I misted the transfer first, um, waited for that to dry. Actually, you know, that's a different color, but, um, and this is on rice paper. But just to, to show you, I misted this first um, with a very fine mister. These are great. Um, you can get these on um, Amazon. And let that dry to a satin sheen let the clay underneath here dry to a satin sheen. I mean, these are both pretty wet uh, as far as the stages of the clay. It is better to wait till they're leather hard. I think the transfers work a lot better, um, even the rice paper ones. Um, but let's see what happens. Um, this is my first test with this color on those print. So this one, um, again, I painted the slip. It's kind of a, um, it's called Bermuda. Uh, on the newsprint first and then um, transferred it. This one I misted. Let's see, am I getting this mixed up? Uh, yeah, I missed. <laughs> I misted the transfer, painted the slip on the clay, and then did the transfer. I this one you're gonna get more. You're gonna see more of a peeling look. Um, I really like that look. This one you'll get less air bubbles. Um, because the slip is painted on the clay. I hope, I know this is confusing. It is, it's confusing. Especially, you know, I do <laughs> three different types of paper. Um, again, it's a little wet, I can tell. Probably more of the color would have come off if I'd waited, but I'm impatient. <laughs> like, I'm sure a lot of people are, because we don't all have that much time to sit around and wait for our clay to, clay to dry. But if you plan things right, um, and set it up, you know, you know, clean your studio or something while you're waiting for your clay to, to stiffen up a little bit, but this is okay. Um, but I know more of the, the color would have come off if I'd waited. Okay. Oops. There's a little piece, but that's not bad. That's not bad. This one will probably work better. Uh, it usually can handle being wetter, the clay, I mean. Yeah, see, that's, see how much of the color is coming off? You can't see any residue here at all. So this is beautiful. So this, you know, this technique, slip on paper first, wait for that to set up. Okay, you can do more at a, a wet stage. Um, but you know, the drawback is you'll get a few air bubbles. I can see little places here and there that could lift up later. You don't necessarily see those until you fire. So once this gets a little bit stiffer, I'll take a piece of blank, um, newsprint, put it on top, roll it with a brayer. And a lot of these little bubbles will just tap down. Okay. This one is a little fuzzy, furry, <laughs> furry, fuzzy. Um, again, it would have worked a lot better if I had waited for um, the clay to, to stiffen up a little bit. Um, and I would have got a lot more off. See, there's quite a difference if you look at these two um, as far as how much of the color came off the paper. All right, um, at some point I'll do, I'll maybe later today or in a while, I'll do this one again, um, waiting for the clay to set up so you can see the difference. Okay, I hope that helps. Um, Okay, thanks guys.